Hi, so I'm Mike from Pitch and Farm Working Horses and today we're going to build a sledge and then we're going to test it out with the horses. Right, so these are the tools that we need to build the sledge. So we've got the drill so that we can pilot holes for the coach screws you can see there. And we've got two lengths of one meter chain, a tape measure, saw, impact driver, pencil, hammer, chisel, and some screws. We've got two inch screws for the plywood and we've got four inch screws for screwing on the four by twos. So this is an eight by three length of wood that's 16 feet long, and that's gonna be the base of the sledge, which is an eight by four piece of plywood that's 12 mil thick. Right, so the first thing we've done is we found our center mark of our 4.8 piece of wood. And then what we've done is gone a foot back and a foot the other side. I'm gonna cut up through here, and this is gonna be the front of both your runners for your sledge. Right, so we've just cut, that's going to be your front of your sledge and we want like a nice long taper there so that it's going to ride over, you know, logs and stuff if you're going to take this in the woods and stumps. Right, this bit of 8 by 3 was a little bit too long so what we're going to do is just going to cut it back down here to take that tip off because we don't need any sharp points where the horse is going to be pulling it so it's not going to catch the horse. So what we're going to do is just cut these ends off nice and square here. Um, and then that point to the end should be eight foot long so the bit of plywood sits on it nice and flush. So we don't have too much of a big square end because obviously we want it to ride over plenty of stuff um, we've just taken another little notch off so that it'll ride over stuff nicely and what we do recommend is if you're going to do a lot of work with your sledge make sure that you get a steel runner that goes on the bottom um, otherwise these bits of wood even on soft ground will wear out really quickly with plenty of use these are our cross supports and they're going to support the bit of plywood that we're going to put on the top so you want them fairly close together so you don't get too much give with the plywood um, and also what we're going to do is we're going to notch this timber and sit the 4x2 down into the 8x3 because I see a lot of people that will just screw their 4 by 2s on top and put their plywood on top but the issue is when you actually start pulling it it's not strong enough and what you'll find happens your sledge will do that and you don't want that when your horses are pulling it and you're sat on the sledge or whatever so um, what we're going to do is notch it in and make sure everything stays nice and square and strong right so we've measured two inches down four inches across and this is the chunk of wood that we want to take out we've also put a few other cuts in to help it come out a little bit cleaner we're now going to chisel along this line gently on both sides just to help it pop out so we've cut our hole and as you see it's a nice snug fit so we'll tap it to sit it in there and it should be nice and flush with the surface as it is um, you don't want too much movement because that's what's going to give us our strength in a minute so we've cut the notches out we've set the four by two struts into the frame and um, now what we're going to do is we're going to use the four inch screws to screw these in and now we're going to put the plywood on top and really it's the plywood that's going to keep everything nice and square and stop it from um, going one way or the other. Right, so we've bolted in, we put two bolts in here into the chain to hold it in the wood so that we can pull it with the horse 
and really it's much better to put it into the actual runner than it is into the 4x2 because you into a much bigger bit of timber. If you put it just one chain in there you're much more likely just to break that bit of 4x2 and then your horse goes off of its spingle tree without you and the sledge which gets embarrassing pretty quick. So um, it's better to have the two chains as well in that aspect if one of the chains breaks for whatever reason that your horse is still connected. Right. Okay. So now we're going to put the base on, so a bit of plywood. And it's this plywood that's going to keep everything nice and square. So you want to make sure it sits on there nice and flush. So this is the finished thing for us. It's a very basic one um, because we like it nice and open so we can put two round bales of hay on here. We generally will have like three horses pulling that. Um, but again, we've made this one slightly lighter than our other sledge because um, a lot of students on the training courses like to have a go with it. And as you can see, it's, it's not overly heavy. Um, a 14 hand cob pull up, absolutely fine. If you're gonna put a lot of weight on it, you just have to increase the horsepower. Right, so we've hitched up the double tree onto the front of the sledge, onto the chains, and we're just going to hitch up the, the horses now. 